Espresso is the fundamental ingredient to every coffee beverage we love, so it has to be good. With your Beans subscription, you're getting incredible coffees with every delivery. And they need to be dialed in to get the best flavors possible. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee. Let's dial in Monarch by Onyx on the Smart Grinder Pro and the Bambino Plus. Now assuming you've already selected the double shot option on the Smart Grinder Pro and placed the single wall double shot basket in the portafilter, we're at the same starting point. Here's what my bar setup looks like from accessories to placement. Pause here if you need a minute to set yourself up for the brew along. At minimum, grab a dry towel. There is a lot of cuteness going on right now. I have this adorable box of coffee by Onyx called Monarch. It's also in my hopper. I love the Monarch blend because it has this really sweet berry note amongst all the caramelized flavors we love in espresso. My grinder is currently set at a 12 and yours may be different and that's okay. Remove your portafilter and just dry and wipe it out. Remove any leftover coffee from the previous brew cycle. I also like to purge the brew group for two short seconds just to refresh the system and we'll grind coffee at the same time. So let's start the grind cycle. Press the portafilter and purge. My starting brew recipe is 18 grams of freshly ground coffee. We're going for 25 to 30 seconds of total brew time, resulting in just under two ounces of espresso. You can hit the pause button and just settle the basket a smidgen and restart. There we go. It's gonna look like you have a lot of coffee, but it really is about 18 grams once you settle the bed. So let's do that together. I'm just gonna move the coffees to the edges like you would settle a cake pan. Grab your tamper, align your wrist and elbow in a straight line as best you can and press into the bed until the bed stops moving or pushes back at you. That's it, you got a nice flat bed. I'm also gonna verify the dose and just make sure I don't have too much. Using this handy little razor tool, head over to your knock box and give it a little shave. And if any coffee comes off the top, gently nudge it into your knock box. Now give it one more quick polish. There's no pressure needed on this last one, just a little twist. And I'm ready to brew a shot. Insert the portafilter and just lock it into place. Press the double cup button and grab your cup. You shouldn't see the first drop of espresso until around the seven to nine second mark. The machine starts at a low pressure and water is moved through the puck up to high pressure. That's called pre-infusion. This will result in a slow saturation of the bed and a full extraction of sugars, acids, omegas, and lipids that make up a delicious espresso. Textbook. There's the shot I was looking for. All right, and we are at our amount. The bubbles are super uniform. It's dense crema. Getting that berry note. Mm. Wow, it's got some whiny tones to it too. So really red, sweet notes of berry, a little bit of that wine undertone for the acidity, and then we get chocolate. Like there's nothing wrong with that. Mm. I'd actually love this in an Americano or just a small milk beverage. Did your shot look and taste like mine? The number one goal of adjusting the grind is to either slow down or speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Don't be afraid of this step. We can always adjust it back. If the water flow is too fast, the coffee may taste sour. Adjust the grind a couple of notches finer to slow down the water flow through the bed. If the flow is too slow, the coffee could taste bitter or roasty. Adjust the grind a couple of notches coarser to speed up the flow of water through the coffee bed. Over time, all these steps will become second nature and you'll go from having good coffee sometimes to great coffee every time. I'm Sarah Dooley, here to help you dial in your next coffee.